what's up everybody for the Winitachi, you know what it is and thank you very much for tuning in to another video of Pokemon Go Poke Vlogs. We're at Hell Hall, we're at school, we've got one more semester left and that is another 15 weeks but that doesn't start for another two weeks, um, a week and a half from when this video is released but look how many Pokestops are at my school son. In between classes I'm about to go ham on the Pokestops bro, you guys don't even know and I'll be showing you guys when we're there. But for now, let's go ahead. We're heading over to the school, and the only reason being is, first of all, I gotta go purchase my parking pass. Parking has gone up in price, so fuck you, uh, Cal States. And also, gotta go pay my tuition fees, so fuck you, tuition fees. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. And then tonight, I'm gonna be at the mall. Uh, we're, the reason why we're going to be at the mall is because the mall is probably the best place closest to my house to get those Pokestops in. Uh, we got those three that are in the circle on the pond, so we're going to go ahead and get those in. And then uh, when we get those in, we're going to be doing that for pretty much all night tonight. It'll be during night time, because after this, i got to go ahead and straight over to work. We got a big uh, tour bus coach thingy right next to me, that's why it's so loud. We're about to head on over to work right after I get this uh, payment done. Um, but there isn't any Pokemon, but Team Valor is hitting it up. This guy got scammed. Needs a goddamn new car, that's all I know. Um, but yeah, we're about to go ahead and pay some bills. Get the bill payments in. One more semester. And the reason why we're doing it now is because there's usually no line. Uh, two weeks ahead of time before school starts. And I don't want to be in debt after I finish school. I don't want no bills to pay. I want to be worry free. Get this shit out of the way. And I really hate school, as you guys can tell. We got tons of Pokestops here, though. I am shocked. First time I've actually been here, so I cannot wait to get into that. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys there. Alright, just arrived on campus. They're doing a lot of construction here. But we've got a mad trail here, son. Got a mad trail. We're about to head on over to Cash Services right now. What's up, my man? About to head on over to Cash Services right now. But look at this. It's an actual freaking trail. There's a trail of Pokestops all over campus. Um, team Instincts down there by Cash Services and Team Valor's got, oh no, our gym just got taken over, son. But we about to hit all these Pokestops in and hopefully we can get some Hyper Potions uh, because I really do need those and the eggs are de definitely decent as well. Um, hopefully we can get 10k eggs because I got a dream video coming out to you guys soon as well. So let's go ahead and get all these Pokestops in and then head on over to Cash Services, get that paid. And then I gotta head on over to work right after. And hopefully we find something there. Left cash services right now. Biggest dump of all times. Sucks. But uh, had to do what I had to do. About to basically stay here for probably another good half hour hitting up all these on the screen as you guys can see. I'm gonna sit here for another half hour because I do got another half hour. The line wasn't as long as I thought it would be. And then we're gonna go ahead and head on over to work. But if I find anything cool, I'll go ahead and bring you guys back. My bags are going to be full so quick, guys. You guys don't even know. I went from one egg all the way up until... Look how many eggs I got. I got seven eggs within a span of like five minutes of just walking around doing Pokestops. I got one 10K egg, a bunch of 5Ks and 2Ks. And I've already had one 2K hatching because I, was, I only had that one incubator on me. Uh, but I got to get some more Poke coins in order to get some more incubators. So I'll be able to get that pretty damn soon. Uh, but for now, we're just going to be heading on over. Got about another 20 minutes left here. Hitting these Pokestops. I haven't really seen any great Pokemon. I've caught an Ekans. I've caught a Paris and a Growlithe and that's it. Other than that, there's not that many, as you guys can see, there's an Ekans on my screen, but I'm not even going to bother because I do want to hit as many of these Pokestops as I can because we do need those Hyper Potions in order to heal up the squad. So we're going to get this done, go ahead and head on over to work, and then tonight I'll bring you guys back when I head on over to the mall. But for now, I'll see you guys later unless we find anything super cool. Alrighty, one last thing before we head off of this campus. I wanted to go ahead and check out my classes to see how they stack with them Pokestops, you know what I'm saying? Am I really going to be paying attention in class? No. I'm going to be packing up on some Pokestops. First of all, I want to go ahead and show you guys really quickly. Let me get this uh, screen, uh, screen resolution up on my side. I went ahead and purchased some Poke Coins. I had to. Got all them incubators going in right now, except for the 10Ks. I'm going to be saving up on the 10Ks for a special video. So, 
We'll be saving up on those, but we'll be hatching the 2Ks and 5Ks to get them out of the way. I am going to go ahead and head on back over to the car so we can go over to work because I do got to head on over to work right now. And um, we will head over to the mall later and I probably won't be meeting anybody because it's going to be super late at night. The mall will be closed, but I will be able to hit over the Pokestops that are on the outside of the mall. So I'll be able to do that. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and hit these Pokestops one last time. Uh, see if we can get some more Hyper Potions and Super Potions to power up my squad. And uh, what does suck, like I was saying earlier, I wanted to go ahead and see how my classroom stacked with the Pokestops. I've only got this little bad boy right here because my classes are all in that building except one of them which I have no clue where that class is yet and I know it's not in this building but they do not have the classroom number on it yet but all of my classes I have six classes this semester five of them are behind me in this building and one of them is somewhere else that I have no clue yet so we'll have to wait for that one hopefully it's in a better location but these guys I got one hooky stop that I can be hitting every couple minutes or so the teacher will be probably mad but guess what I don't no I mean I, I really don't I don't because we have one more semester left, and it's a Pokemon Go semester for me. So let's hit it up, guys. Alrighty, everybody, we are back at it again. There's 16 minutes until, or 15 minutes now until practice begins, until I start work. So I just thought I'd hit this two Poke Stops up really quick. As you guys know, I've been to this park before, and this was the very first place that I found Magmars, and I found plenty of them. But as you guys do know, they have changed the spawn locations of a ton of Pokemon nests. And this time, it is now a park full of Electabuzz. Now, I know my nearby list does not showcase that. There is only one at the moment. But do not worry. It is now full of Electabuzz. We are going to go ahead and grab this Pokestop really quick. I grabbed plenty from the school that we just came from. Uh, sadly, we did not get enough Hyper Potions to power up the squad. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and hit another Pokestop way out there. Um, if I find anything good again, if oh, I, th th this is killing me. This nearby list is killing me right now, son. This place does have tons of Electabuzz. Do not worry. They must just not be spawned right at this point in time. But I was here yesterday, and I saw five on my nearby list. So I'm pretty sure this park now has Electabuzz instead of Magmar. But for now, I just want to say thank you very much for tuning in. And I will bring you guys back once we get to somewhere else, or when we get to the mall, or... If we find out anything cool on our nearby Pokemon list that we do definitely need to hunt. Oh snap, looks like one of our eggs is just about to hatch. If it is a 2k egg, let's go ahead and aim for a starter. Of course, Pikachu as well or a Magikarp. To be honest, anything out of a 2k egg will help, I believe. 5k eggs, I'll just take anything with a lot of uh, candies. And it's a freaking Geodude. God damn, man. I hate Geodudes. At least a lot of... It's not even a lot of candies, man. It's enough to get me a Graveler. A decent... A more decent Graveler. Uh, but for now, let's see how my other eggs are actually going right now. Um, I do have the two 10k eggs on hold. And everything else is about 1.2. So we'll definitely be hatching all those 2k eggs today. But the three... Uh, the four 5k eggs will be waiting probably for another day or so. Um, but for now... We are going to go ahead and hit off this one last pokey stop, and then we're going to go ahead and go to work, which starts in about seven minutes. And then tonight, I'm going to go back home after work, charge my batteries, and then head on over to the mall. And we'll probably be there for a good hour, uh, sitting at some pokey stops. I'm going to drop some lures down there, and uh, we'll walk around, and hopefully we can get some more great items from our pokey stops in order to heal up the squad. Again, from the 5k eggs, we are still aiming for Porygon, so hopefully we can get that soon. What's up everybody, Father Winitachi here. We are back at it again. It is late, it is about 10 p.m. at night, so it is very dark outside. And um, we are in the garage right now, the parking garage. Uh, we are about to hit some Pokestops. As you guys can see, there's the three Pokestops with a Valor Gym right in front of me on the outside of this garage. And then there's also a long trail of Pokestops. I'm going to be going up and down, getting as many Pokestops as possible, and then sitting down where those lures are for a good 10 minutes to see if I can get any cool Pokemon. If I find anything interesting and cool, I'll definitely bring you guys back. 
and our goal tonight is to hatch every single egg that we have. So it's a good 3.8 km's and that should be doable. Six eggs that we want to hatch and then we're definitely going to hope we can get some more 10 k's from these Pokestops. But uh, as you guys can already tell, there's uh, layer modules already down at the Pokestop. So that's a good thing for me. And anything nearby? No. A complete trash nearby. So nothing good nearby. But right now you guys can see me because I've got lighting from the uh, parking garage. But we're about to head on out and hopefully you guys can see me there and hopefully we can find something cool. Dragonite maybe? Are we hatching Porygon? Let's go ahead and try it out. Me, But the gym that we are right next to uh, does have an empty uh, mon slot so hopefully we can get there before anyone else does. There is combat currently in action so that is currently not great but let's go ahead and check it out. See if we can drop one of our mons in here and help protect the gym. Let's get out here really quick. We are definitely in range, I hope. And uh, nope, someone is definitely fighting it, so there's no longer a spot. So that kind of sucks, but let's go ahead and check it out. Especially those Pokestops. As you guys can tell, we are back at it again to the messed up fountain over here. We've got them three Pokestops, and there's an Abra in the middle. But sadly, we just clicked on a rat. A rat attack. Not too bad CP, but uh, not too great, and I really don't want it. I'd rather the Abra, uh, but sadly there was a Rattata hiding within there, so we're going to have to capture this thing right now really quickly. Hopefully that Abra doesn't go away, because I would like a Kadabra pretty damn soon. And, okay, it ran away. I'm, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. Wasting Pokeballs, but this Abra is really important. And then, CP 262, not... Not great. I do have one that is a little bit higher, but we definitely need them for the candy so we can get a Kadabra. What's great about this place is the lighting. Don't have anything to worry about here. Are you joking? Two in a row. Are you joking? How, how does that How does that even happen? Two in a row, man. Alright, I guess I gotta raspberry it up. We're getting hyper potions, which is great. Gonna help us from the gym disasters a couple days ago. And yes, yeah, someone did take over the gym. It was Team Instinct of all teams. Really, bros? Really? Team Instinct? Alright, sadly, let's see what let's see what that gym level is. It shouldn't be too high. It's a level three gym with an arcanine as well as uh, two arcanines. And one is pretty decent as well. So hopefully we can find some cool Pokemon here from these lures. But for now, uh, we'll definitely keep on hitting them up and then we're gonna go ahead and make a travel down as well because we do need to hatch these eggs, so I'm gonna have to walk as well. So let's make sure we can get those done out of the way. Yeah, but for now, peace. We got a good amount of Pokestops down here. There's about four or five that I'm going to be able to get by walking up and down this little pathway here. We got a CP10 Pidgey. I've actually caught probably six to eight Pidgeys so far. Um, pretty damn simple over there by those three lure modules. I've caught, um, what was it? I just caught a Pidgeotto as well. And I've caught probably about five Rattatats. Not too, nothing too special except the Pidgeotto. Uh, oh, there's a Paris, but I'm going to get these two Pokestops really quick. Something else as well that just popped out, another rat. I'm going to get these, this Paris really quick. We're going to do a little quick sit down. And then at the end of the day, we're not going to evolve during this episode because I am going to, I have a lot of candies that I will be getting. Uh, so I won't be evolving at all during this episode. But I will do a quick recap of what we actually collect from this um, little journey here at the mall at night. Let's go ahead and grab these two, and then we'll hopefully be able to get that Rattata in as well. we get these two Pokestops in. And then, oh man, the Rattata went away. Alright, we're going to go ahead and keep it on. There's an Eevee and a Jigglypuff pretty damn close by. Again, this is like Pidgey heaven right now, son. All I see is Pidgeys here, and this is where I actually go to get them all, because... Pidgeys are probably the best thing for experience points of all times, and they're very easy to capture, and they only cost uh, they only cost 12 candies to evolve. And sometimes you get a Pidgey that is really high on CP. Um, like my current Pidgeot is maxed out at my current level, so there's really no Pidgey that's going to be better than it. And it is XL. There is the Jigglypuff, so we're definitely going to capture this one. Hopefully, it's a good CP. CP is 88, um, but I do have enough candies to evolve into a Wigglytuff and that will be a new Pokemon. In fact, I'm actually going to throw a Raspberry on this because I really do actually want to keep this one and I'm going to two-hand this one with a Pokeball. Should be enough. Can't even two-hand right now. Should be enough. Oh my gosh, stop floating in the air, man. Are you joking? There we go. 
it should be enough. Uh, I have enough candies, but uh, hopefully my CP on my other Jigglypuff is decent. Um, I'm not too sure, but again, I'm not going to focus on any of the Volvines. I do have enough candies, though, for a fact, and hopefully Wigglytuff would be added to the Pokédex soon. That one was really terrible, as you guys can see. What else do we got here? We're going to capture... Ooh, the Eevee. The Eevee. Oh, 338 CP. I really, I'm not going to throw a uh, Raspberry at it, because it just shouldn't need it. But uh, we did find the Eevee, so the Clefairy, I mean the Jigglypuff and the Eevee, right off, right, right back to back right now, son. And that is very decent because those were the two on my nearby list that were decent Pokemon. It's really nice to walk around here at night. I'm actually surprised. I mean, the mall's closed, all the shops and stores are closed, but uh, there's a lot of people by the movie theater, by those three lure modules as well. They're all, a lot of them are playing Pokemon, but there's a lot of people going to the movies. And I'm kind of shocked about that because there's really not too much going on in the movies or nothing was released lately. So, not too sure what there is to watch. But let's go ahead and check this out. So we've got a Pidgey and a Rattatat on our nearby list. We do got a Pokestop that we're about to get in right now. So let's go ahead and do a quick little spinneroo. Got three Pokeballs. Great way to not have to spend your Poke Coins on Pokeballs. And you should never spend your Poke Coins on Pokeballs. Especially if you're going to play this game a lot because you, you, you're going to be hitting up Pokestops all the time. What's the point, son? Spend them on incubators. Perf perfect timing. We just did one lap there, one lap back. Our 2k eggs are about to hatch. Hopefully we get some starters into this, into this B because I definitely need them starter Pokemon. Hopefully we can get enough. Oh, I just caught two of you, man. I just caught two of these. And they have so many candies, they're so worthless. Ah, all right, I believe we got another egg. This is probably the last 2K egg, so hopefully it's a starter Pokemon. That's what we need, man. Another one. Back to back, are you joking? This is the fourth one I've caught. The CP's not bad, but the CP's are so bad that I don't need them. I'm about to go back to those four, uh, three Pokestops, chill there for a little bit. Hopefully we get some better eggs. Our 5Ks are the ones that are popping next. And what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? We got a 2.1s. So we got four or 5K eggs that we're going to hatch tonight. And then after we hatch these 5K eggs, we will be heading on out. Hopefully one of those four have a Porygon. But for now, we've got these damn two 10Ks just sitting there. All right, we just got ourselves a really bad Growlithe. But the reason why I'm bringing you guys back is we were just here about 10 minutes ago. And this place was packed. I mean, like, literally packed. As you guys can see, there's only one Pokestop with a lure. And this place is completely empty right now. What happened? I don't know what happened, guys. But we just got two eggs from these three Pokestops. So let's go ahead and check them out. Hopefully we got a 10K. If we didn't get a 10K, we got two 5K eggs. All right, let's put them in incubators, I guess. Start the incubation process. You got to get these over with quickly. Got a bunch of 5k eggs though, which is great. They're all 5k's except my two 10k's. And what's good about these is, again, I'm still aiming for Porygon. I know, for, I've been told Porygon comes from the 5k's. And I've seen it online all over the place. So hopefully we can get that. Let's go ahead and catch this rat real quick. Snitching it up over here. Snitching it up. Really, bro? Really, bro? You're going to be running away from me too? Better not be. And then after we get this rat, if nothing else spawns here, we're just going to go do our quick walk again. Hit those pokey stops up, get some more potions so we can restore the squad. The squad needs to be restored. I'm, I'm surprised at how empty this place is. I know everything's closed except the movie theater in the background, but god damn, son. This place is empty. It must mean it's time to take over to gyms. No, I'm joking. I told you guys I'm taking a break from gyms for a while. Um, there's another rat. Let's go ahead and capture it. Again, like I said, we're going to capture everything before we head on out. This Rattatat has some nice CP to it though, 325. We're gonna get this Rattatat in, and then we're gonna head on over again, hit those Poke Stops up, and get our walking in because we need to get that walking in to, in order to hatch these four or five K eggs. I believe there's four of them. We're gonna go left handed because my right hand's kinda dying over here. Oh, left hand might be the trick. Right hand might be the camera holder from now on. Look how much stable this is. Come on, bro. Come on. Oh, joking, bro. You're joking. You're joking on me. This, this guy's pulling, pulling my chain over here. Pulling my chain. 
behind me, behind this thing, there's a water fountain. I don't know what this is, why it's blocking it, but there's a water fountain in there. But uh, we're going to go ahead and hit those Poke Stops where they at, all those Poke Stops over there. Can't go to all of them because all of them are in the mall, but we can hit up five of them. Just did another trip for the Poke Stops and time to get my revenge on this Abra that ran away from me earlier. Yes, I'm using Pokeballs, but I throw raspberry just in case. And I believe in the heart of the Pokeballs today that we're going to get this on the very first try, son. You guys know what's up. You guys know what's up. Now, I was walking back and I noticed there was a couple of people here that dropped their modules. I do not want a Pidgey, but I will capture it because it's nice and wonderful and beautiful experience points. There's actually two here. One just despawned, okay, that's cool. And it just turned into a Paris. Paris. So let's go ahead and... I actually can't even get that one over there. So let's go ahead and just head on over to these three. There's one way across the street and I can't get to it and I'm too lazy to go over there. So let's just go ahead and head on over here. Paris and Pidgey. And get these Pokestops in and get these eggs to hatch, son. For real? This is this is real. This this is legit real. Holy snap, crackle, and pop. We popping a raspberry on this guy right now, son. I mean, the CP's really bad, but just to say I actually caught an arcanine, man. Are you guys are you joking here? A lure module just popped out an arcanine. This is I've never seen this before. This is probably the oh my gosh, it's one of those. I don't even need this arcanine. Mine's at 1600. Are you joking? Thank you. Thank you. I gotta actually, first of all, I actually gotta capture it. So, I already knew that was gonna happen. Uh, Ultra Ball. I just did the, I legit did the same throw. There we go. Got that nice. We're about to hit level 24, which is also very cool. But, this is legit an Arcanine. In the wild, this is the, aww. Wasting Ultra Balls here, son. Wasting Ultra Balls here, son. Come on. Stop attacking. Stop moving around. Oh my gosh, stop moving around. No joke, dude. Oh, that was a no-looker, too. That was a goddamn no-looker right there. I already know it's good. I already know we're good. That was a no-looker. Are you joking? Come on. I don't, I don't even need him. But that might be why he's mad. Oh, that was a little spinner. That was a spinneroo. A little right side lifty loop the spinner. Oh my gosh, you know what? Fine. I wasted, I, don't, I don't use these anyways, so it doesn't matter. Wait, whoa, what was... Oh, never mind. Oh, I saw blue blue lights appearing out of nowhere. And my second raspberry. Come on, oh, got him! Got him! Alright, cool. I don't know who dropped this lure module, but thank you. We about to... It's really bad. Got a Venonat. What's over there? Growlithes. Venonat. Growlithes. I'll capture them all. Because that's my goal, right? That's my goal. But first of all, let me go alert everybody that's over here. Uh, there's an Arcanine over there. They might get be able to get a CP higher. So let's go ahead and hit them up. Are you guys playing Pokemon Go? Yep. There's an Arcanine at that Pokestop over there. Time to go? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. It, I mean, my CP wasn't high, but there's at least one over there. Nice. Thank you. I don't know how long it's been there, but it really just... I think it just spawned when I got there, so you should have time. Yep. Are you guys playing Pokemon Go? Are you? You are? There's a, our, the, the Pokestop over there, there's an Arcanine right there that just spawned. Oh, really? Yeah. Thanks, man. Uh-huh. What level are you? Uh, I'm level 23. Gotcha. Yeah. Hopefully I can hit 24 within the next 10 minutes. Alright. Alrighty everybody. Guess what? I just failed you all. I just deleted the footage that showed you that this Pokestop right next to me over here, this little purple, these two purple ones, I was gonna get one and one and it was gonna hit me at level 24. Well I just reached level 24. I got my hyper potions. My whole team is no longer fainted. Everybody is fully healed and good to go. That is a plus side. We also reached level 24, which is also a plus side. From level 23 to 24, I did not use one lucky egg. It was a grind and a half. I did not have any pokey coins to spend, so I couldn't use I couldn't deal with a lucky egg. Uh, but that's okay. 
uh, we are about to end the vlog and I want to go ahead and showcase you guys what to expect in the next vlog. We've got tons of evolutions. We've got tons of new Pokemon coming at you, especially through the evolution phase. Uh, we're going to get a lot of experience points. We've got two 10k eggs that are chilling in the bank. And we've got 3.8 kilometers out of 5 on these 5k eggs. As long as I don't hatch them today, um, we are going to be going on into our next vlog with those 5k eggs. And they should be hatched pretty much right away from the vlog. Hopefully we can get Porygon out of them. Uh, we are going to go ahead and head on back to those uh, lure modules all the way out there. I know who's there already because they've been doing a different route than mine. They've been going the other way and I've been going this way. Um, again, I just want to thank you very much for tuning in, everybody. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and post in the comment section. Check out the description box. Uh, my social media links are there. My sponsorship links are there. The donations links are there. And, of course, what you guys all love about is the giveaway link. And I just want to say thank you very much for tuning in. Father Winitachi is... Ow. Everybody, I might have lied about this one. I ended up staying for another probably good half an hour, 45 minutes, because there was lure modules everywhere and Pokemon spawning everywhere. We never caught anything decent, but our four 5k eggs are about to hatch, so let's go ahead and get these in. You guys know what we're waiting for? Oh no, 5% battery. That's even worse. Do not need a whole rombe. Do not need a whole rombe. Come on, son. Oh, the candy wasn't too bad. Candy wasn't too bad. You guys know what we're going for. We're going for Porygon here, son. We got three more eggs left. Drowsy. Huh. Well, we don't get much of these in our area. Uh, CP and candy. Not bad at all. Another one. We got two more. Porygon. Come on, Porygon. 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 Oh! I'll take that. Please be a lot of candy. 10, 45. Oh, this is so close. One more. There's one more. Uno mas. Uno mas. Oh, here comes the nervousness. This is where we're going to end the video off. Come on. Seal. Please be a lot of candy. God, we did not get Porygon, man. 11, 14. Ah, oh, that sucks. That sucks a lot, man. Let's see how this gym is doing. It is a level one gym with a pretty decently good Snorlax. I mean, what, what else just spawned? Something just spawned. It is a Growlithe. Ah. Well, we're gonna end it there. Uh, let's go ahead and check out our Pokemon. Let's go ahead and check out our eggs. We've got three 5k eggs and they're pretty decent so let's go ahead make our way out we are done for the night we have four percent battery left so let's go ahead and end this video here before this one gets corrupted as a file thank you very much for tuning in everybody poor yacht where you at son